Before social media, you wouldn't be able to tell how selfish or narcissistic someone actually was until you got to know them. Now, at least, they let you know publicly that they are so that at least you can avoid them without getting involved and wasting your time with them. Social media allows us to identify all the crazies now. They've always existed, but now we see how many there really are. I mean, this leads to all the virtue signaling that you see online. People have this desire now to show how good of a person they are to everybody. The latest vessel these type of people are using for that is the Ukraine thing. Yeah, they're still doing this. I mean, I can't believe people are still doing the whole, I care so much about Ukraine that I decided to only dress in yellow and blue. Like, how don't they know by now that we know that they're full of shit? Is the brain fog that thick that they can't, like, like that they think we can't see through this? It's just incredible. I mean, don't they read? Don't they see the endless parodies of themselves? I love this thing going around. It just sums up these people perfectly. It's a badge that says, I support the current thing. And it's got one of those NPC people in the center with the, with the empty look on their face. If you don't know what an NPC is by now, they're like the background characters in a video game that are controlled by the computer. Like they all do the same thing. They don't actually think for themselves. They're programmed. They just go along with what everyone else is doing. They need guidance. They need to be told what to do and where to go. That's usually where the politicians come in. That's where the media comes in. It's how some people are. They don't think for themselves. They're so conditioned to follow the rules and the crowd so that they come across as a model citizen. These are the ones who wake up in the morning, go online, see everybody with a Ukrainian flag as a profile photo and go, oh, this is what we're doing now. I should be doing that. And then they just follow suit. If I do this, this will make me look good. If I don't do this, that would make me look bad. You spend the day shopping for clothes that match the colors of the Ukrainian flag because you feel it's your civil duty to raise as much awareness and show the maximum amount of support for the country. I mean, what a gesture that is. You must really care about the well-being of humanity. So where's the human trafficking post then? Where's the opioid crisis awareness post? Are you waiting for the news to talk about it? Are you waiting for The View to discuss it? Are you waiting for your favorite celebrity or influencer to discuss it? Why do you need to see other people doing or saying something before you say or do it? Why? The reality is... There's no amount of likes or emojis that will fulfill the soul of someone who tattooed their eyes because they didn't love the way they were born. Why can't you fucking hear me? If only people realized how lucky they are to be a human being on planet Earth. As wacky as this world is, out of all the species you could have been, from an ant to a fish to a deer to a human, we are lucky enough to be born with the highest level of consciousness amongst every species on the planet that we know of. You know what all the other animals are doing all day outside? Starving, constantly hunting for food while they look over their shoulder all day out of fear of getting mauled by another animal. We don't have to worry about any of that. While you're at home at night with the heat on watching Netflix, there's a raccoon stuck in a dumpster somewhere. There's a possum being run over by a car, a deer being shot in the head. And you don't love yourself? I absolutely hate myself. Like, I absolutely hate the person that I am right now. I feel like I used to make content that I was so proud of. Now I'm just making such shallow content that means nothing. Like, posting photos of my body that's completely facetuned just so girls can say how much they want my body. Like, it's just so dark. It's so dark. It's so dark. You gotta appreciate what you have. This is a gift to be here. Find some balance in your life. Control yourself. You're losing your mind. Shouldn't the goal be to be content with your life? Having things organized, having full control over yourself, 
I mean, once outside influences, whether it's people or substances, start taking control of your life, when do you steer? When do you start driving the car? The sex addiction steers you. The need for alcohol steers you. The need for nicotine steers you. Pills, seeking validation from strangers online, that steers you. That steers people. Do you know how many people can't complete a day without coffee, nicotine, pills, alcohol, porn, likes, video games? Try going an entire day without any of those things. You'd be surprised how tortured people would be to just live a day alone without any of those things. People can't function naturally for some reason. We've all been corrupted. Shouldn't the goal be to not have to constantly need something to function? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having coffee in the morning. I'm talking about people who need something all day and night to function. Wake up, have coffee, go to the job they hate, fiend for cigarettes throughout your shift, sit in rush hour traffic on your way home, hating life, yelling at other cars. You get home, you drink at night, you jerk off, video games. When do you sit on the porch and just watch the birds with a glass of water? (laughs) Enjoy the sun, enjoy nature, call your mom, talk to your friends, write ideas. Read about something fascinating. Build something. Learn how to do something. Sightsee. Exercise. It just takes an enormous amount of effort that people aren't willing to put in for some reason. 